Welcome, my name is Lance Amato, and the purpose of this series is to shed light on emerging trends and sustainable practices that align with a growing need for solutions in the architectural and design space. In each chapter, I will open the door of discovery to our community and provide references to learn more, which they can apply to their daily practice. Welcome back, everyone. Reclaimed lumber is commonly known as a wonderful and sustainable resource for new furnishings, interior finishes, as well as light structural applications. What many are unfamiliar with is the actual process of reclamation and the timeliness it takes to remove the nails that are embedded within the lumber that it came from, from its prior life. Today, we're gonna to learn about a wonderful company who has developed a new model and machine that can automate the removal of these nails and make this process substantially more efficient. My name is Jory Wisniewski. I am the marketing manager for Urban Machine, and we have been in business just about two years now. Uh, Urban Machine is a robotics company. <clears throat> we are focused on reuse of wood. So what the robot does is uh, takes wood that traditionally would be sent to the landfill, either ground and, and buried or burned or sold for, you know, wood chips, uh, mulch, sawdust, and we make that wood reusable. Uh, the robot automates the process of removing metal fasteners, nails, staples, and um, screws from the wood so that we can reuse it again in another project, giving that wood a second life. Our CEO is one of the co-founders, Eric Law, and he was heading up a sustainability and innovation team for a major construction company on the West Coast. And in doing some research, he realized he found that 37 million tons of wood waste go to the landfill every year. And he just knew there had to be a better way to do things. So he reached out to someone he had done some robotics work with and just asked like, can you automate this process? Can you remove the metals efficiently uh, enough to keep that, you know, price of the, the reclaimed lumber uh, comparable to, to virgin lumber. And um, obviously Andrew was able to do it because Andrew Gillies is one of our three co-founders and also the CTO. Um, and the two of them got to work right away and built a, a desktop version of it. And, and quickly um, they got Alex Thiel, our third co-founder and the chief software architect on board and it's amazing to me that within this two years from literally concept to now we are testing 3.1 version of the robot um, and in in the background in the warehouse while the that 3.1 is out at a resource recovery facility testing they're planning and and getting ready and building 4.0 so the goal is um light structural applications. Um, we have been selling our wood to furniture companies. They're building everything from tables to pot plant potter, uh, pot potting plants, um, awards. They've made all kinds of really cool things out of the wood. Um, and then beautiful architectural pieces. Something that we're doing is putting a QR code on our wood so that you can read and about the story of where the wood came from. So, you know, kind of picture yourself, you walk into this building and there's big, beautiful old growth beam with, you know, tight grains and, and that wood just looks different. It's warmer. It's, it's just a beautiful color. Um, and then you scan the QR code and it tells you that, you know, this wood was in a building, you know, in San Francisco that was built in 1920, you know, it was a cannery, whatever it was used for. Um, so it's, it, the story continues, which is really cool. Here, we're here for a finite amount of time. Um, the trees don't just 
you know, I mean, yes, they grow and, and it's sustainable. I, I understand all that, but to take all this perfectly good wood and throw it away, uh, it, it, it's a crime. I mean, I, I see the aha moment as um, a lot of structural engineers, you know, that they'll maybe be a little like leery that, that this had holes in it, but you're not talking about wet lumber, you know, that grew in a tree farm for 40 years, right? You're talking about old growth wood that grew in actual forests for hundreds of years. And then it has been just standing in a building for the last 40 to 100 years, dry and straight. <laughs> and it's super hard. That's why these furniture makers are able um, to use it to make furniture where typically that's hardwood. But, you know, what we're recovering is is softwood. So it's pretty exciting. I think that's a good aha moment. Like this is really, this is this is a different way, kind of like Eric's aha moment. Like, wait a minute, how much wood goes into the, you know, gets buried? It's good wood. This video is proudly sponsored by Kanoa, an innovative AI powered collaborative platform designed for our community. With Kanoa, you can create and share data rich mood boards, layouts, and product schedules with your team. Our unwavering mission is to empower individuals to craft superior spaces. To explore the possibilities, sign up for your complimentary account by the link provided.